Today I would like to make a chocolate flan cake. It's basically the bottom uh, part is a chocolate cake and on the top uh, it's like a very thick size of a, a flan or um, a Persian or a French they call it cream caramel uh, on top of it and then it has a drizzling uh, caramel sauce on top I use the shortcut I bought the chocolate cake mix you could buy whatever brand you want I bought the devil food and you just follow the instruction in the back the way it says to mix it in so it says I need one cup of water three egg one third of the cup vegetable oil and that's what I'm gonna do right now okay this is my chocolate cake mix I add one cup of the water which instruction uh, require me to do this is one third of the cup vegetable oil and I'm gonna break my eggs one at the time make sure it's all right before I add in it to the cake mix I need three eggs By the way, don't throw away your eggshells, wash it, dry it in the sun and crush it. You could use it as a very nice fertilizer around your tree or plants. It really uh, helped your flowers to bloom. I'm going to add less than a one fourth of a teaspoon cinnamon to my mixture I really like the smell of the cinnamon in my chocolate it's a little less than a one-fourth of the teaspoon and I like to use a little coffee I'm gonna use this uh, Nestle um, Nescafe I'm gonna use one teaspoon of uh, instant coffee you could use espresso if you want to and now I'm gonna mix everything <clears throat> so I add two things uh, of my own which it wasn't says in the box I'm gonna mix this in medium speed for a few minutes I'm just gonna clear up the round okay my cake mixer it's ready I'm gonna put it aside oven is warming up on 350 degree of Fahrenheit in the blender I'm gonna pour in one can of concentrated sweetened milk this is 14 ounce or 397 gram with the help of the spatula I want you clean up inside your can because baking should be precise when I said I need 14 ounce I mean entire 14 ounce don't leave anything behind you see how with the just the help of the spatula you can clean it up and add it here um, this is an off brand I buy you could buy whatever brand you want this is the target brand and it calls sweeten concentrate milk you could get the fancy one if you want to and I have a one cup of milk and I add my one cup of the milk to the sweetened concentrated milk 
uh, this is my inside my blender I have to blend this together bear with me um, so I'm gonna add my eggs one at the time make sure they are okay don't add a straight to your mixture because one bad egg you're gonna mess up everything i'm gonna use four eggs i use in organic eggs two three and four and I said before uh, don't throw away these eggshells you can wash it and dry it and uh, cut it in the small pieces or if you could grind it and then use it as a fertilizer around your bushes rose bushes or uh, my herb garden really like it. it it make it bloom better I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I'm gonna close it <clears throat> I'm gonna do this until everything been fully mixed yeah it seemed like very good mixture let's look at it and I smell it I like to smell that vanilla hmm very nice okay I'm gonna put this aside now I show you how I'm gonna assemble everything okay I have one pound cake uh, pan right here I'm gonna spray it with the uh, baking spray or you could use it with regular oil baking spray it works very well for me so that's what I'm gonna do I sprayed it with the baking spray okay uh, that's how everything goes in first your caramel sauce this is my caramel sauce I have a can of the 10 ounce this is a Trader Joe's I bought I have to say I test the Trader Joe's the Trader Joe's the caramel sauce it's really nice I'm gonna pour in in my bun cake pan and I try to do it evenly spread everywhere make sure again you pour everything out because we need every ounce of that caramel which was a 10 ounce I took all the caramel sauce out you see kind of cleaned up with the use of my healthy spatula this is really important I'm not trying to be cheap first of all you shouldn't waste the food second of all baking it's all about measuring and a size if it's a, a little off it just messed up the cake uh, so right now I'm gonna add my cake mix which is a chocolate it's slowly on my caramel sauce and as I do I twist it around I don't want to move the caramel really and I like to spread nicely
I'm gonna add up my mixture of flan or how we say it, cream caramel. And slowly And I put it on top. Okay, I have a piece of foil I spray and I make sure the oil it's everywhere and then the oil side down goes over my pan. See that? It was the oil side down. This is my roasting pan. You could use the metal, I use the glass. The cake was covered with the foil and it tied up. It tied it up carefully. Okay, I put my pan cover with the foil inside the roasting pan. I'm gonna do um, bon marie. Uh, so what it's gonna be is this is a hot water. I put in my pan gently to come up one inch an inch up bond cake pan one inch and this is a hot water okay it goes in the oven 350 for about one hour and 20 minutes it's gonna be very a slow cook and then we're gonna check the process Okay, this is one hour and 20 minutes later. I removed it from the oven. I'm gonna check the cake to see how it cooked. Cake pan is very hot. The toothpick check go in and out. Look at that, clear. So the cake it's fully cooked. I'm doing it in several area. Okay, we're gonna remove it from this uh, Ben Murray. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in the counter in the pan uh, to become a room temperature, kind of like a cool down for one hour and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. Um, you could grab a very nice glass cake holder, but whatever you pick, it had to have an edge, uh, kinda like it had to be a little deep with the edge because the caramel gonna run down. Because I wanna travel with this cake, I'm taking this, um, that is my nephew's birthday cake basically. Uh, since I want to travel, I grab a, a deep tray and I cover it with the foil and I'm going to put in top of this and flip. If you're serving it at the house, you can put them in a very nice crystal dish or a cake holder, but definitely has to have an edge. Okay, let's see. Moment of the truth. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at the cake. Isn't that beautiful? It has a little crack here. What happened is we lost the electricity a couple times today. I think that's why it happened. Normally that wouldn't happen, which is not big deal. You can decorate it with the with vaping cream. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It has 
uh, the top layer uh, it is a caramel and that is my flan and that is my chocolate cake it would be if you have this type of crack all you have to do is uh, cover it with the whipping cream thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think